If you want to be smarter, you have to start using ChatGPT. You have access to a plethora of information and that information can be delivered to you within seconds. And not only that, you don't only have access to a bunch of information, but you can use ChatGPT to retain that information faster than ever before. I'm going to show you a couple of knowledge retention tips in this video that have made me smarter than ever thanks to ChatGPT. Knowledge in itself is true power and ChatGPT allows us to unlock that knowledge faster and more efficient than ever before. So let's get learning. Now there's two ways of learning with ChatGPT. A, you can learn through generated knowledge, or B, you can learn through pre-existing knowledge. And what I mean by this is generated knowledge is information generated by ChatGPT that you wish to learn, retain, or build on. So this is when you absolutely start from nothing and you're using ChatGPT to actually generate the knowledge that you wanna learn. Now this method is great, but it does require some double checking in order to make sure that the facts it's generating and the knowledge that it's generating is actually true. And then you have pre-existing knowledge. This is knowledge that you're already trying to learn or information or writing that you have or an Excel sheet that you have or a diagram that you have or an issue that you have that you're actually bringing into ChatGPT to learn, retain, or build on. So an example of generated knowledge would be like this. I've asked ChatGPT to give me 10 facts about the year 1842. When I send that off, as you can see, ChatGPT generates the knowledge and gives me 10 facts about the year of 1842. But you can also use existing knowledge or things that you already have and you can put them into ChatGPT in order to learn, retain, or build on those things as well. So as you can see, I have a jobs and data science spreadsheet that I've uploaded to ChatGPT and I can ask it a basic question like help me understand this data. I can send that off. And as you can see, it breaks down the spreadsheet within columns in order to help me better understand that which is very, very useful. And this is information that I already have. This is the information that ChatGPT generated. So keep in mind when I'm teaching you throughout this video, these retention tips and these learning techniques that I've been using with ChatGPT in order to make me smarter, that you can do this with both. You can do this with generated ChatGPT knowledge or knowledge or information that you already have. And you can input it into ChatGPT or if you have an idea, you can input the idea into ChatGPT in order to build on it as well. It doesn't have to be all generating new knowledge with ChatGPT. You can input existing knowledge or information that you already have. Let's jump into my first tip, which is actually learning through songs. Now, everybody can memorize a song. You hear a song on the radio, you can start singing along if you hear it long enough. So if you wanna be able to retain information, make it a song with ChatGPT. Let me show you a quick example. Let's say I wanna remember all of the books in the Bible and the New Testament in specific, and I wanna remember them in order. Now you can do this with things like US presidents as well, or the amendments of the US constitution. Anything that requires a lot of retention and that's a very long list, this is a very good way to start remembering that by putting it in a song in order to help sing it in your head. That way you can understand what's going on. So I've typed out a prompt, it's very simple. I say, make me a song that helps me remember all of the books of the Bible in the New Testament. I say, make it make sense to what's happening in each book. Make it short and memorable. So I don't want this huge, long song. I just want to quickly remember all of the books of the New Testament in order. And I want it to pertain to what actually happens within each book. That way I have an actual understanding of how things connect. Make it make sense. Don't just make it rhyme. Make it make sense to your situation. So I can send this off. And I've read through it and it does an amazing job. So this is something that I could memorize, something I could sing in my head in order to remember everything in order. So songs are the first example of how to learn long and complex bits of information. When you put it into a song, you can easily remember it. I don't know why, that's just how the human brain works. And that's helped me retain and remember so many different things. You can start singing the song in your head and eventually you just know how everything connects because the song, especially if you make it with meaning, is very powerful. Are you enjoying this video right now? Hold on, if you are, then I have an opportunity for you. This is an opportunity to join my chat GPT mastery group, which I will be leaving in the description in the top pinned comment. This isn't only a community, but it's also a course with 45 plus modules within the same platform. Within the community section, you can go in here, you can start these long threads all by yourself. You can ask questions, you can give advice, you can help other people out and we can kind of talk to each other and really stay ahead of the AI revolution together. When I head over to the classroom, as you can see, as I said, I have 45 plus modules on all sorts of ChatGPT topics and I cover pretty much everything that ChatGPT has to offer in depth in a private setting. So if you want to master ChatGPT and harness the true power of what it can do for your life as it has mine, then I highly recommend joining. Again, I will leave a link in the description or the top pinned comment. 
With that being said, let's jump right back into the video. So the next way of learning and retaining and building on information with ChatGPT is actually going to be with mind maps and flowcharts. Now this is super powerful. When you can view things in a visual way, it really helps your mind wrap around what is going on. And not only that, but it helps you draw connections and see it in a visual way that you never thought of before. Let me show you a few examples. In order to actually make these mind maps, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit explore GPTs and then I'm going to select whimsical diagrams. You can also search it in the public GPTs as well. I'm going to select whimsical diagrams and this is going to allow us to create flowcharts, mind maps, and sequence diagrams within ChatGPT at our request. So I can say something like, help me visualize reverse osmosis in a diagram, something that's very complex, scientific. We can help break it down in a visual representation. I can send off that message. And this is an example to show you how you can visualize complex systems such as architectures or networks of certain things that are kind of hard to conceptualize by yourself. And as you can see, here's the flowchart illustrating reverse osmosis process. And then it goes through everything needed in order for reverse osmosis to take place. And it even gives you a link. You can go in and you can view and edit this diagram. So you can start moving things around. You can start changing colors in order to help you remember things better. So I really like using the whimsical diagrams uh, plugin or GPT in order to accomplish this within chat GPT. This is a great way to start learning much better. You don't only have to do diagrams and flow charts for things like complex systems, but you can also do it for ideation and brainstorming. I told ChatGPT and the Whimsical Diagrams GPT to brainstorm YouTube videos in a mind map about artificial intelligence with five main headings and subheadings as well. I can send that off. And just like that, we're going to get a huge tree of different YouTube video ideas for artificial intelligence. Now, I always use this example just because that's what I'm in, but you can use this for brainstorming and ideating multiple things of your liking. It doesn't have to just be videos. It can be anything you want. As you can see, it says it's created the mind map in order to help me brainstorm videos on artificial intelligence. And this is what it gave me. So I can hit viewer edit this diagram and I can further look into what it says. So as you can see, these five main headings that it gave me right here, these could be videos. And within those videos, I could go over all of the things within the mind map. So fundamentals of AI, if I made a video on that, I could go over the history and evolution in the video, the key concepts in the major branches. And I could also have each one of these be a smaller video. As you can see, it starts to link things together and see how everything connects within your niche or in your space when brainstorming or coming up with new ideas as well. Now the next method of learning and retaining or building on things that you want to know more of or that you want to become smarter in is creating analogies with ChatGPT. And I use this one a lot just because it's so powerful. I'm going to dive in and show you how analogies can help you understand things much better. And the reason that I'm putting this in here is because ChatGPT allows you to create analogies out of anything. I dare you to test ChatGPT. Anything you want an analogy for, it will come up with an analogy and analogies will help you understand things much better. So if you're a student, if you want to learn new things, if you want to become knowledgeable in any subject of your life, then you can use ChatGPT's analogies in order to help you get one step further to accomplishing that. Now you can really do this for anything, but I love doing it to understand complex and challenging systems. So for example, I have a prompt here that says, create me an analogy of how the cryptocurrency blockchain works. The cryptocurrency blockchain is a kind of complex thing to understand if you haven't been in the space. And if you want to understand these complex things, it's best if you connect it to something that's a little bit more manageable to gain an understanding of. So I'm going to send off this message to show you an example of how creating analogies can help you understand something much better. So we're here to relating cryptocurrency to a shared digital notebook. And it labels everything in the notebook as something that has to do with the blockchain. So as you can see, it says entries in the notebook. Those are the transactions, pages of the notebook. Those are the blocks, chain of pages, that's a blockchain. Security measures, that's cryptography. Shared ownership, that's the decentralization, the shared ownership of that notebook. And the consensus mechanism is the validation process. It says, before a new page can be added to the notebook, the volunteers must agree that the transactions are valid. And it kind of goes into that security of cryptocurrency and the decentralization of it and how it works by using the shared digital notebook analogy. It really helps break it down and understand a complex system in such a simple way. The last step for knowledge retention and building on things with ChatGPT in order to become a smarter person and use ChatGPT to its maximum potential comes with an Albert Einstein quote. Now, Albert Einstein once said, if you can't teach it to a six-year-old, then you don't understand it yourself. And that's exactly what we're going to be having ChatGPT do for us. If we have a complex topic, 
we have something that we need help on, if we want to be able to explain something more articulate and in a better way, then we need to have that information generated to us as if ChatGPT is explaining it to us as a child. That way we can teach it to a child because once you know how to teach something to a child, you've completely mastered it. As you can see, I can ask ChatGPT a simple question like what is the stock market? And what ChatGPT will respond with is a bunch of complex terminology. It's going to respond with huge words and paragraphs of information that I really don't care for understanding. I just wanna know what is the stock market? How does it work? What are the ways that certain things are functioning? How is the money moving? I don't really wanna know all of this stuff. So what I can have ChatGPT do is first summarize this into one paragraph and then explain it to a child all within the same prompt. I can type in, in one paragraph, explain this to a five-year-old and I can send off that message and this is going to help us as adults understand this information much better. And I recommend you pause the video and take a look at what ChatGPT came up with when explaining it to a child compared to what it came up with up here. Now these are things and terms that we probably need to know, but if you wanna understand the general concept of something and grasp how things are connecting in order to understand the system fully, then I highly recommend using this prompt. Now that's all I have for this video, and this is how ChatGPT has made me 10 times smarter, and I truly mean it. You can learn things at hyper speeds using ChatGPT, and it's amazing what we're capable of doing with this tool. Now, if you want to learn ChatGPT even more in depth from A to Z and learn how you can engineer all aspects of your life with it, then I highly recommend joining my ChatGPT Mastery course and community all in one platform. That way we can stay on top of ChatGPT, the AI revolution, and you can learn ChatGPT in depth better than anywhere else. With that being said, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, please drop a like and subscribe. I would highly appreciate it. And I will see you within the next video.